Hi, I'm Nathan Austin. I started grooming in 2008. Before that, I was uh, just like a loser who did nothing. I ended up getting a job at the movie theaters. One of my coworkers was this older lady, but I drived with her so much, she goes, you should come in at my other job. So I go in there and it was dog grooming. I didn't even know that was a job. You know, I had no experience, no nothing. I didn't know people brought their dogs into stores. I just fell in love with dogs. You know, like, I always had this idea that when I was younger that the world and people and the man, right, was out to get me or to hold me down because of the way, uh, my outward appearance, you know, the way I projected myself or the person I was, really. But then when I started working with the dogs, I noticed they're just so friendly, they just love you, they don't care what, how you're dressed, how your hair looks, they don't care about none of that. And it really affected me and really um, like opened up my mind. When we first got into competing, it was kind of like sporadic here and there, um, but I always felt like he was super talented and could just do so much. Um, and so I've always kind of like pushed him. We gotta go, we gotta, we gotta do this show. I'm gonna find you dogs, I signed you up. Like, <laughs> I do all that stuff. If she wasn't here right now in the back helping me with dogs and helping me, I wouldn't be here. She has been the most important thing that ever happened to me. I could say with 100% with certainty, if I was not married to Katie, I would be a meth addict on the streets. Still, things that she seen something in me and she really, um, believed in me. We already worked together and lived together for the last 15 years, so it's just like this another another level of like connection that we have. Uh, getting to come out and watch him really flourish out here just like it means everything. And then to be able to take these trips together, it's just like a whole nother level of things that we grow to, like we're growing together and it's just such a beautiful thing. I tell you what it, uh... It does feel good though, you know? <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing has brought my grooming and elevated it more than competition grooming. It's really like skyrocketed it. Find somebody that can mentor you. You have to believe in yourself and you have to have people around you believing in you, you know? And if, if the grooming competitions are, they're really scary, they are. Uh, my first year, I was scared every time. But you know what, you get used to it and it, it, it's not scary anymore. Now every time I go to a show, it's just being around my friends. You know, and uh, everyone's really inviting. But you just got, I don't know, you just gotta keep trying, you know? And uh, you know, when I, when I lose to the people around, like when I lose to Lindsay, it's not a big deal. I mean, of course I lose to Lindsay. I'm just glad she's retiring. She said she's retiring. Thank God. Because <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll get a placement now and again and the AKC Master Groomer of the Year award goes to Nathan Austin. Um, you know, thank you everybody. I thought I was gonna be up here because of a bubble. So, <laughs> this works. Um, I wanna thank my wife, you know, because if it wasn't for her, I'd, I'd be like a homeless drug addict. Um, my kids and Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm pulling on cloud nine. Like it was, uh, it was definitely un unexpected. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty surreal, honestly. Like, how often do you get to get in front of a crowd of people like that and accept the award as a groomer? Like, I don't know, never. But this, so definitely a highlight of my life right now. I got the kids, wedding, and now that. <laughs> I get so proud of him and um, like he's had to overcome so much. I I mean, everybody has baggage, right? But like I felt like upbringing wise, I had like a good upbringing. And so when I know like that he was homeless or that he went to bed hungry or, you know, like he didn't have a dad in his life or, you know, all of these different things and everything that he's had to overcome. Um, to see the person that he is today and that he's not jaded and that he's just like truly such a good person. Um, to see him doing so well and people to like 
recognize him and everything that he's worked hard for it just it's so special and I love this industry so much for recognizing his hard work when I think of the things that he had to struggle through and to think that he wasn't worth it that he wasn't like good enough that he wasn't ever gonna become anything like I would tell him how much I love him and what a good person he is and how he just hold such a good heart and I know that eight-year-old Nathan hadn't even like I can't even imagine how sweet of a kid he was and to be like beat down as much as he was but be so strong I would just tell him like just hold on because your life is gonna be amazing like truly incredible and I'm so proud of him <laughs> yeah cuz he's He's been worth every minute of my time. Every minute. Anything you want to say to your eight-year-old self? Um, jeez, uh, um, damn it. <laughs> I would say, I would say that it is going to be okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, I would say it's going to be okay. And I give him a hug. And, shit. I'll say I love you, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> um, you know, I don't want to say too much because then I might fuck up the the future. <laughs> you know, like butterfly effect or something. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I don't want to say too much to him, but I love you, and it'll be all right. You know, you'll make it. <laughs> life isn't. Life will get better. You know. <laughs>